And new tonight at 6, this story. Some kids don't have the money or the school supplies, so, so when they're at school, they don't have anything to use. In just a few weeks, summer vacation will come to an end, and children will head back to school. And for many families in the state, this time of year can be a financial burden. Channel 3's Aya Galal shows us an event in New Haven that's helping kids and parents prepare for the upcoming school year. Looking forward to learning, reading, all those kind of stuff, math. They're eager and excited. I really like school because you got to learn everything. Parents also excited. I'm feel great. I can't wait. I'm counting down. <laughs> Bailey is starting fifth grade soon and is looking forward to reading and science. I like learning like scientific books. And she's happy about the brand new school supplies she got today. I got new markers and uh, pencils and notebooks. It's all part of the annual back to school rally in New Haven. The event aims to bolster excitement around the upcoming school year and provide students with needed supplies like backpacks and other resources. So you have everything by the time the school year starts so you don't have to ask anybody for something. The event drawing roughly 2,000 parents and children to the Floyd Little Athletic Center. Organizers say this event not only helps the kids, but also their parents. The summer is for fun, and the kids are all in that fun mood. And so what this event does is that it gets their mindset back to thinking about what is important, which is school. School supplies are expensive, and this is a way to help. We want to ease the burden for our families to make sure that they have the resources they need to go to school. And parents say it's a good opportunity for their children. They can get to see and meet different people from the community and maybe they can meet new friends. You never know who's going to be in your new school. And a reminder for more tips on how to save on back to school shopping, you can head right to the Channel 3 app. Reporting in New Haven, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.